was, and we're with my man Smooth. Hell yeah. Smooth was the one that gave me the invite to come here today, and he told me, bring the whole gang, bring, bring everybody. And I said, let me see what I can do, and I brought who I was able to bring. But Smooth, how many, how many bikes do we got here? 150 bikes came in, man. You guys came in crazy heavy. So yeah, yeah. Rolando, Cholo bikes, all that good stuff, man. It was badass. Yeah, so Smooth owns Shy South Customs, and this is his prize possession here, pretty much. One of them, you know, yeah. This is one of many, but this one's been on uh, a few covers already. So man, this thing's beautiful. So quick, just tell us about this bike in specific. It's a ground-up build, uh, tribute to Ed Roth, Rad Fink. Um, okay. It's got a 113 motor in it, six-speed trans, hardtail, S, uh, SMT wheels, all hand-painted. Uh, they're chrome, but everything else is hand-painted on the bike. Um, WB gold leaf on it. It's a lemon yellow, so it throws a, throws a green tint to it. Okay. Again, with the green Springer front end. These are Volkswagen gears. Oh. It actually works, nice. so it's pretty okay. cool. Um, guy came in and said he wanted a badass bobber. Just turned us loose on it. So. Okay, okay. Yeah, but yeah, like I said, Smooth's over here making moves, you know, so he became part of the, what is it, the Psychorama? Psychorama. So the portion of the World of Wheels. So again, he reached out and said, hey, come out here. So we said, you know what, let's come out here. We'll support Smooth. Oh, yeah. And uh, we did, um, from previous footage, we did the big roast at his shop. That was his shop that we were at. Yep. And we did that. So we're probably going to do another one this year. We're still talking about yeah. dates and whatnot. We got to figure so, out dates. Yeah, so uh, that's in the future still to come but yeah smooth appreciate everything you do Love man it, thank you appreciate everything and uh we'll be we'll be doing a more formal interview at the shop coming soon sounds good thanks All thanks right. for having me Like I said, I got Edgar here, and this is this build right here behind us. So tell us a quick, a quick rundown on it. Quick rundown, man. That's gonna be hard. Um, <laughs> just what it is. All right, brother. So this name. is a, a 20, 2006 Kawasaki Vulcan. This thing's literally built from the ground up. I got six to seven bikes into it. Literally, it's chopped up from a street glide to a fat boy. Everything on this bike is all custom made by me um, out of my garage. It's named Garage 13. I do all the paint work, all the fab work, all the body work, everything um, that you see on this bike was literally done by me. Um, so yeah, man, if you have any questions, like just let me know. Like, yeah, and then what's your business that. so people can so know? my business is Garage 13. Uh, we're located in Algonquin, Illinois. Uh, you can look me up on Facebook. I'm there, you guys want to hit me up, um, have any questions about your bikes, you guys want to do some of your bikes, uh, you know, we'll just chop it up and, you know, go from there. Yeah, sounds good. Interview coming soon with Edgar right here at his shop. So, he's where the magic happens, yeah, yeah. that's coming soon. Should be, we should probably drop that in about a month. But yeah, appreciate it, Edgar. Good, man. Thank you. you do. Thank you so much. And uh, good luck tomorrow on the awards. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My bad, I don't know if that's the actual color or not. So it's a, it's a 2001 uh, Road King Classic. It's real teal pearl. It's a OEM color from 01 and 02. Um, I bought it completely stock. Um, the color is the main reason I bought it in the first place. Um, the Harley dealership wasn't even going to sell it to me. It was going to go to auction, but I, I wanted it real bad just because of the color. And uh, yeah, I told them I wanted cash. Or I, I have cash. And uh, they gave it to me. Did all the work myself in the garage. So, yeah. All right, Nosh is a beautiful piece of work, man. Yeah, appreciate it. And I it. see 
you're into the Vicla style yes. too. Yes, sir. So, yeah, you don't see many like this in the, with the Vicla style with stock color too. Yeah. You know, everybody usually paints it, but I wouldn't touch any of this paint. <laughs> this badass paint job already yeah. as it is from the factory. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah, so, well, appreciate you, Ryan. Yeah. Thank you. Yep, no and uh, we'll be riding soon. We'll be oh, taking yeah. some more footage. We'll, we're on full, or yeah. out there rolling on too. Yeah, for sure. Thank Sounds you. Good. Aquí estamos con el, el mero mero, el mariachi. Sí, gracias, brother. ¿De qué andamos? Y nomás vamos a, vamos a hacer algo rápido porque vamos a tener una entrevista ya más en grande Así en es. el futuro. Pero ahorita nomás para tocar en, 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 tu, en tu moto. ¿Qué año? ¿Y qué tanto lo has hecho con la pintura y algo rápido? Bueno, pues esta es una 2005 Heritage Classic. Okay. Este, pues básicamente le hemos hecho básicamente todo men, eh, la pintamos completa completamente completamente grabada. extendida las salpicaderas eh, todo en grabado men. Sí, sí. todo en grabado entonces le diamantamos también su motor para que pues me echara okay, okay. y este pues básicamente ha sido todo lo sí, hemos, sí. hemos modificado todo 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 pues todo se tocó pues la pintura el cromo así todo. es yeah. no, está viendo una chulada de moto bro muchas gracias chulada de moto pues aquí andamos representando acá en el área de Chicago pues en, en, de Aurora yo soy de, 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 del pueblo de Aurora Illinois okay, okay, no entonces bien. andamos aquí representando lo que es este pues la cultura chicana hermano sí, sí. y andamos. lo han visto a veces en, en nuestro video porque ha rodado con nosotros así es un poco de las veces que, que sale que pasa de lado con nosotros claro que sí yeah. y vamos a seguir rodando y ahí está así es pues órale pues pues gracias mariachi como pues gracias digo, a ustedes nos damos una entrevista ya más más este en grande en el futuro que, que, que va a llegar muchas gracias a Rolando Chicago por tomarse el tiempo de, de platicar con nosotros pues aquí estamos al 100 y arriba Rolando compás échale <risa> ya está gracias está bien. so still here with the wheels and we're here with the infamous Tony what's up Tony what up so Obviously, this isn't his wife's bike. <laughs> this is his bike. Contrary to popular belief, it's his. So, tell us a little bit about a, a quick rundown. Uh, year, make, model. Uh, it's a 2006 uh, Road King, painted a Cadillac Mountain Laurel from the 1950s. Uh, I wanted to go be different, go something different, go nostalgic, and uh, so we're here. Uh, one of my icons is Elvis Presley. Uh, we share the same birthday, so this is kind of a tribute to him. Plus also Michael Jackson, Dirty Diana. That's where we get the name. Okay, okay. Yeah, so to be clear, that wasn't pink, because everybody thinks it's pink, and it's not. What was it again? Say the color again. So Mount Laurel. Mount Laurel? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so and that's off of a Cadillac, so that's what inspired the build. Yep. It inspired the color. And yeah, so Tony, we're gonna be brief with them because we're gonna give a few interview with them in a few weeks. So we don't wanna spoil everything. So it's just a soft introduction into that one, but we will be giving a full introduction in, a, in some time. Give us a few weeks and we'll have them out. All right, All right. can't wait. Tony, appreciate you, boss. With Chendo, what's up, Chendo? How's it going? How's it going, man? So, we got Chendo here. He's also part of Orlando, Chicago. But today, at the World of Wheels, he's not showing his bike. It's not quite ready, although his bike is badass. We wanted to show off something more badass, and that we're diverse. We not, we're just not on two wheels. We also got four wheels. So, tell us a little bit about your car. Year, make, model. Not a problem. So, again, Rosendo Nino. I go by Chendo, and this is my. Uh, 2021 Chevy Corvette. It pushes about 650 horsepower with the Nas. I got two stage Nas, and uh, as you can see, it's really nice. It has the, the plasma lights. It has a really nice candy red wheels. I got the Lambo doors going, and then uh, I got also the uh, air ride kit on it, so it, it can lower. So it's pretty low to the ground, so I get a lot of attention. Yeah. No, I mean it's a beautiful car. Thank you. Although my uh, street guy is probably still beat it. it Probably will. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just Especially kidding. on one wheel. <laughs> Man, that's 
a beautiful car. Thank you. Man, this sits so low to the ground, I can't imagine getting in and out of this thing, man. Yeah, it's that's why you have to shed some pounds. <laughs> right? That's why we're doing that challenge. <laughs> yeah, so again, we're here with Chendo, and um, you're part of, also with the Corvette, what is this, uh, Chicago yeah, Land this Corvette? This is Chicago Land Corvettes. This is a group of us, so I'm sure Wally will pan away and look at all these beautiful Corvettes. We got all the generations from Gen 1 all the way to Gen 8, minus consider it Generation 8, which means a C8. Okay. So yeah, uh, yeah. if you could, are in the area, stop by and say hello, but if at any time, any of our events with, you know, uh, Chicago Rolando, Rolando Chicago, I'm sorry, yes, come and stop by and see us and you'll have a blast. How many Corvettes showed up here today? Because you 20. guys... We got 20 in total, so okay, yeah, 20. 10 on one lane and then 10 on the other lane. And they sold that blue one, right? I seen a so sold sign on it. it. It's kind of like a gimmick. It's oh, like okay, a, I thought a, I a thought 1970s, sold it. you know, sales pitch here that we're selling cars, but we're not. As an example, mine's a barn find. Okay, yeah, really I is. did see that. I did see that. <laughs> we got to get some footage of that, Wally. Yeah, so if you go through each of the windshields, you're going to see that each has okay. a prop, you know. I, I thought that one actually sold because it says sold on it's there. Sold, so yeah. It had me fooled. Had you fooled? <laughs> yeah, so that's the intention. Uh, some of them are like midlife prices, but again, you know, mine is $99.99, so $100 will buy this one. So it's a barn find. <laughs> hey, that's you it. Got it? Let's All right, I got you. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, Chendo. Well, appreciate Thank you it. so much. Thank appreciate you for the taking time. the time. And, uh, and see you on the next one. Yep. All right, so we're here day three at World of, uh, World of Wheels, and I'm here with Ruben. What's up, Ruben? What's up, brother? How you doing, man? And Ruben is part of Uso. How long have you been part of Uso? I've been part of Uso since 98. 98, wow, that's a long time. Yep. And this is his beautiful caddy. So, Ruben, I know there's a ton of artwork on this, so we can't go through it all. We're gonna do a formal interview coming up soon, but touch base on it, year, make and model. Well, it's a 1993 Cadillac Fleetwood. It's rear wheel drive, 350 Chevy, fully done. Candy paint, house of cars from top to bottom. I got West Coast mowing look on it with a lot of uh, our Mexican heritage in it. Like Pancho Villa Zapata is fully chromed. I'm a full show street rider. I'm also representing Uso Chicago, all of Uso. So now, let me ask you, what inspired you to go this route with this? Well, Latinos, we were game banging back in the day, so I needed something positive to get me and my brothers out the game. So, like I said, we started in different clubs, but we came to Uso because we wanted a familia. And Uso stands for brothers and sisters, no color lines. We are all family. So we're a bunch of chapters in. We all show love. We show love to everyone else as much as we can. Like I said, we shake hands. We give hugs, we show love. Like I said, we get mad love from a lot of people. Yeah. We're, we respect, they respect, it's all love. We're yeah. all here doing our time. So this car might look familiar to anybody that went to El Grito last year, because when we rode into the, to the event, yeah. Ruben was actually in the back on the shoulder with us. I couldn't believe it Flying. that he's got this work of art on wheels riding behind us on the shoulder and stuff. That that was crazy to me, you know? I, we got show bikes and whatnot, but nothing to not, nothing to this caliber. Now nah, we're you on know? the And same, you were, we're out there, the boat, and I was man. like, man, Ruben's back there. Yeah. Like, it was crazy. <laughs> but yeah, man, so, man, beautiful car. Thank you, man. Thank this you. thing's one Thank of you. a kind. Thank you. And again, we're gonna show you just overalls of the, of the uh, uh, car, but uh, I would say maybe in a few weeks, we'll sit down with Ruben and we'll give an in detail of everything and we'll probably have a 45 to an hour session and we'll go over pretty much everything on the car so stay tuned see you guys then thank you brother all right so we're here with Hugo what's up Tocayo Impala, this thing of beauty right here. You'll see some B-roll of that, but um, 
it's loud in the background they got their music on so hopefully you guys can hear it but tell us a little bit about your impala what year make model um and then the inspiration behind the the theme you went with so this is my 1964 chevy impala always wanted growing up in the lowrider 64 is like the iconic car i always wanted one the 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 story behind this one is I bought it about 30 years ago. Okay. And it's set in a field and two dogs used to live inside of it. It was a really? dog house. And the guy wouldn't sell it because his dogs lived in it. He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> unfortunately for him and unfortunately for me, his dogs passed. And I love I passed by. He's like, if you have the money, come pick it up. I called my friend, we picked up we picked up a trailer. It was just a shell. There was nothing in it, everything else. Took it home, little by little. It's been my lifetime project. Okay. And uh it's, it's here now with, with and how does this paint because you said this paint is paint, paint is uh, 25 years old and so is the interior wow. so when I when I, I took it out maybe about four years ago okay. wet sanded it buffed it the cool part too is that the guy that originally painted my car his son owns the shop now okay and uh, he wet sanded and buffed it for me so it still kept it stayed in the family so type of deal. when you take care of your paint this is how your paint job looks like still 25 30, 30 years, years later, later almost yes. three decades yeah. 20, nope. 25, 30 years later. That's so. how it looks like. Man, this thing is beautiful. And, so, and, sorry, my plates read Tres Vatos, okay. which is uh, my two best friends and I are the ones that mainly build the car. Okay. So I did a little homage to my two best friends, Jerry and Jason. Okay. And then, uh, you Jerry know, so, from Showtime. From Showtime okay. Audio, right. and then Jason from DTP. He's also in uh, Lord Attractions in my car club. How long you been with Lord Attractions? Lord Attractions has been since 92. Okay. My, my cousin got me in with them and then he stepped out of it and I, I stayed I stayed okay. with the club we recently just brought the club back up back up okay. uh, but now we're, we're starting to get all the original guys back together okay. yeah. so Ugo also rides motorcycles uh, I know you've seen his bike a few times he's the import that always wins <laughs> yeah. you know so his bike is it looks like was the wrong answer <laughs> <laughs> his bike actually looks like a road king but it's actually a yamaha i, I, so, I call it my yamaha yeah yamaha my, yeah, my yeah. yamaha yeah so yeah. we're gonna do another interview with him in the future uh with a youtube because we're gonna have his car and his bike together and we'll go into detail back uh, then yep, you know appreciate but, it. Yeah. It's almost time to leave. That's yeah, why yeah. everyone's getting antsy. But there you guys yeah. have it. Ugo with his 64 Impala. And, man. It, it is called My Boy Blue. My Boy from, Blue, okay. From the movie Old School. From the movie Old School because it's, it's old. It sings it's cool, but it dies on me all the time. So <laughs> <laughs> that's why I went with the name. Thank you. Appreciate it. Was a it. pleasure. Likewise. And I'll see you guys in the we'll next one.